hi guys simply mia here oh my apologies for the bed lighting okay it's not so so bad but it's very 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 cloudy so i am randomly starting this vlog so i show you guys something <laughs> okay before i show you welcome if you are new you're welcome to our youtube channel and if you're a retaining subscriber thank you thank you so much for being part of our family thank you for always coming back we appreciate your love and support so oh guys the lighting okay but anyways so we received um quite a good amount of rain this morning it's like 12 pm now we received quite a good amount of rain so we had seven chicks right Meme and I forgot about the chicks like we were supposed to take them like to a warmer place last night or at least this morning when it started raining but we all forgot about them so now they are so 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 cold one is dead and six of them have gum like they're still breathing you know so homegirl now is trying to save their lives and let me show you guys <laughs> let me show you guys what i've done or what i'm doing so here are the chicks these are the six that are moving oh okay still moving and this one still moving is this one dead no it's also still moving the other one is moving this one is still moving and this one and this one is dead so this is the only place that we have most that has um dry sand so i was covering them up with sand hoping that they will be, they will feel warm and maybe they'll survive <laughs> oh this is just me trying to save lives <laughs> oh god so this is what i was doing and then i got this kayasha and this one so i wanted to fill them up with sand and then i put the chicks in there but i just spoke to meme now and she said i must take fire and then move them closer to the fire so they feel warm like really really fast like that is gonna work faster than um the scent that i'm using now <laughs> so that's what I'm, I'm gonna do now i hope it works at least out of the six at least half or all of them should survive at least they should survive so i'm gonna um start the fire now get a box as well put them in the box um put sand and what is this on toko what is on top one ash yeah in the box and then move it closer to the fire then we shall see if they will survive oh, i have things we do guys i hope this is close enough no, the eyes are now open the eyes are closed huh? but i hope it helps this one also has a lot of energy but the ice oh this one is hungry guys there's nothing here Yeah. I guess I have to keep monitoring them. Hey, if these chicks survive, I'm going to be a vet, guys. <laughs> Ow. So now I'm going to be monitoring them just in case they, they get like this one seems like it's gaining 
momentum as that energy whatever so i'm gonna be <laughs> oh and this one eh? ah. no what's up with you <laughs> yeah yeah uh -uh. the things we do now nah? i guys no see why i keep telling you guys that you should stay in moshimba it's for such reasons I really really hope that these chicks survive at least five now I don't want half anymore because one is not giving me hope at all so at least five should survive and I'll be very very happy if they survive straight to vet school <laughs> is it called vet school whatever but yeah if they survive guys I'm going to be a vet I need to learn and stop doing these funny techniques to say chicks i need to learn the proper techniques <laughs> oh yeah that's what's up so now i'm gonna get a box and do what my mom said i'm gonna get a box fill it up with not really fill it up but put some sand and ash and then put the chicks in there give them some food and see if they will try eating I don't know what this is. What is this? It sounds like this. A lot of air. I'm not sure. I'm talking about hunger, but I'm not sure if it's just hunger or there's something else. So the chicks are now all opening their eyes. <laughs> I guess that is good progress. Good progress. They're giving me hope. They are now opening their eyes and some of them are trying to get back on their feet which is good now i am just gonna um put sand and ash in the box some food and then just leave them there Oof, ah. if they survive they survive our ah. then i go to vet school <laughs> if they don't well you are and i can't even wipe my face my face is shining because of sunscreen ah wow wow guys wow guys this one is working yay <laughs> oh and did this one eh? uh, guys open eyes so that is it from me now i'll give you guys um an update later in the afternoon i will tell you if they all survived or if they didn't i will show you i'll show you guys what happened and yeah i hope you are enjoying this video or i hope you enjoyed this video for now from me simply mia is ciao ciao update this is like an hour later these three are now eating oh my goodness i'm so happy but these two are kind of still struggling but it's okay they'll get there and i'm so happy to see this one's eating oh my goodness oh, <laughs> oh the excitement I saved chicks, so I am going straight to vet school. <laughs> oh, wow. Am I saying I should move it closer to the fire and this thing will disappear? And it is disappearing. It's like becoming very small now. Still there. You can see this part, but it's becoming very small. So I am moving it closer to the fire. Making sure I don't burn it. And then this thing keeps decreasing. Oh wow. It keeps decreasing. Oh dear, why is it not opening its eyes anymore? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And it's helping. 
We live to learn. See? Still there, but it's small now. And it's becoming red. Oh, I know these things. No? But yeah, that's what's up. I'm saving lives here. <laughs> Oh, I am so glad they are eating, guys. Oh, man. They grow up, I eat them. No mercy. They grow up, I eat. Penastari nukuriga. And we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I, have you, I hope you have learned something. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't like and leave comments in the comment section down below. Comment down below what you what oh English what <laughs> what have you what oh guys <laughs> English but yeah I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Comment down below what you would have done to save your chicks. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave comments until next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, before I go, so we have decided we are not gonna take them back to the chicken coop. We are just gonna find another place in the house. We're gonna put them in a cage and then keep them there at a warm place. Yeah, so yeah, bye. Here is the cage that we're gonna use. This is where we're going to keep the chickens. I'm gonna keep them inside here. Probably that side. No. Yeah, we're gonna keep them, I think, somewhere there. Or maybe there. That is where we are going to keep them. Here's the cage. Here they are. Six of them. They all survived. They're all walking. They ate up everything. And I'm so happy, guys. Look at me going straight to vet school. <laughs> I'm going straight to let's go. Today I am giving shout outs to number one is CK. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing our videos. And also to Team Tyra. Thank you so much, ladies. Please, guys, head over to their YouTube channels and show them some love. Subscribe, like, and leave comments in their comment sections.